So day two of coverage of the London Film Festival here on the Silver Screen Dudes. As always, we're going to stick to this format of doing quick fire reviews. First movie of the day, the one I was most excited to see, uh, starring an ensemble cast of Kate Blanchett, Charles Dance, Alicia Vikander, my girl. Um, yeah, rumors. This this is bonkers, man. It's it's not without its flaws, but it is quietly brilliant. The, the, the crux of rumors is, is as follows. So Kate Blanchett leads an ensemble cast in a sharp political satire that cleverly critiques the world of modern politics. Set against the backdrop of a G7 summit, the film transforms its leaders into allegorical characters, each representing the stereotypes of their respective nations. And to that end, the movie is a unmitigated success because the way each character embodies the stereotypes of their respective nations like you, yes they, they have their nation's respective badges on their chests but you don't need the French flag to know that that's the Frenchman and likewise the German flag to know that there's the German they've really embraced the stereotypes of their countries quite brilliantly um, Carrying on, the, uh, the Blanchett shines as a character that embodies that snobbery and elitism of political figures, delivering a performance that is both nuanced and biting. Now, the film does have an ethereal, fairy-like atmosphere that juxtaposes its serious themes, creating a whimsical yet incisive commentary on the fallibility of those in power. And that's something the movie is another real shining light on, the fact that it manages to kind of disempower those who are in such positions of power and make pastiches of them, make comical depictions of them. They've never, they're, they're not depictions of real life people, but they are caricatures of politicians of the various nations. And to that end, the movie is a real success. Now, where the movie has its problem, however, so sorry, one last thing actually before I move on to the problems. Right off the bat, what the movie does very well is it asks the fundamental WTF is going on question. Because it doesn't give you any framing, it doesn't give you any exposition, it sets the characters against the backdrop of a G7 summit during which they have to write one of their speeches. And of course, all the pomp and, and sort of emptiness of political speech comes to the forefront here. Then things start happening in the background and you realize, hang on, there aren't really zombies walking around because weirdly there are zombies in this movie. There isn't actually a giant brain in the field because weirdly there's a giant brain in the field in this movie. It's all allegorical. And you, you can tell that they're sort of semi-breaking the fourth wall in some moments and they're being very self-referential, the filmmakers, and they're, they're just having fun with this. They know what they're doing and they're sometimes tipping the hat and giving a little, giving a little wink. Um, and yeah, I, I'm all for it when filmmakers are clearly having fun with their project. The problem with Rumours is that it is a little bit of a one-trick pony. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a very, very good trick. But at nearly a two-hour running time, it does overstay its welcome a little bit. And the ending is even weirder than the entirety of the movie. Um, I think if you're a fan of political satires, this is going to be one that works for you. It is immensely enjoyable. The performances are great top to bottom. And it's, you know, there's a lot of laughs to be had here. It is possibly quite unintentionally thought-provoking, but definitely an entertaining exploration of the flaws within political systems. How to score it? It's a weird one to score. Because of the poor pacing, it did make me look down at my, my watch a few times, and that's never really a positive, is it? So I think rumors overall will get a six and a half out of 10 for me. It's worth a watch, fun to be had, Hasn't been my highlight of the festival so far though, but definitely one for you guys to seek out with the ensemble cast. I've got no doubt it's gonna be picked up and it's gonna go mainstream. So keep a look out for it for when it does. Um, let me know what you thought of the other reviews. There's a few out on the channel now, so be sure to go and check those out. Treading Water, um, uh, Living in Two Worlds, Under the Volcano. There's a lot of stuff for you guys to go and enjoy. So do be sure to uh, 
to like the video if you haven't done so already. There's a subscribe button over here and another video for you to watch up here. So go ahead and do all that goodness and I'll see you all very soon for another bit of coverage right here at the London Film Festival. I'm Nicolero. Bye for now.